Hello and welcome back to Business Matters at the Hindu with me, K. Bharat Kumar. This is the third time since December that we are going to touch upon a topic in Business Matters. We've never done this before for any other. Why? Because that's the kind of interest that generative artificial intelligence seems to have generated, pun unintended. But before we look into what has been happening in the corporate world with regard to AI, here's some context. Artificial intelligence has been talked of for decades now. But it's only in the past half a decade or so that interest, even among technologists and investments in terms of finances, has happened in the world of AI. Why so? About four years ago, I was at an artificial intelligence conference and it was instructive for me to learn that two phenomena have spurred developments in AI. One is the availability of processing and storage power that you and I could rent out from the cloud, from cloud service providers. And second, the ability of industry to collect vast amounts of data. That was just some food for thought for you. Now let's take a look at what has been happening in terms of recent developments in the world of AI. First off, Bloomberg recently reported about a Chinese advertisements company that intends to favor chat GPT like AI in place of humans. The $3 billion Blue Focus Intelligent Communications Group, one of China's best known media companies, has said in an internal memo that it intends to replace external content writers and graphic designers with AI models. Bloomberg reported that it, the company, Blue Focus, had reached out to Baidu Inc. and Alibaba Group to explore licensing their technology. In the internal memo, the company has said, to embrace the new wave of AI-generated content starting today, we have decided to halt all spending on third-party copywriters and designers. In another instance, a finance professor at the University of Florida has said that a large language model, namely ChatGPT, can be useful in predicting stock price movements, according to a report on CNBC. In his unreviewed research paper, the professor states that the ability of ChatGPT to predict the direction of stock movement the subsequent day is much better than if you and I were to pick stocks at random. The research emphasized that the integration of advanced language models into investment decisions could yield more accurate predictions and enhance the performance of quantitative trading strategies. The professor and his team looked at more than 50,000 headlines about public stocks and fed all of this set of data into chat GPT with this instruction. Pretend you are a financial expert. You are a financial expert with stock recommendation experience. Answer yes if it's good news, no if bad news, or unknown if uncertain in the first line. The team found that the model performed well in nearly all instances after being informed by a news headline. Back home, our own Tata Consultancy Services is developing AI tools that will program entire enterprise-level applications for its clients. But this is something that TCS has been doing for a while. In an interview to Business Line, Chief Operating Officer Mr. N. Ganapati Subramaniam says, We had always felt that there will come a time when we should be writing software that generates software. Our tool, Mastercraft, is a repository tool that we developed two and a half decades ago, and it is fundamental to our well-being in many ways. For example, our banking application, TCS Banks, is completely developed using Mastercraft. This means that not a single line of code is handwritten. Everything is generated. Could AI tools spell trouble for programming jobs, at least at the entry level? In an earlier episode of Business Matters, we saw how an experienced programmer was able to use GPT 3.5 as if the tool were a very intelligent but somewhat less experienced programmer. A nudge here and a nudge there, and he was able to generate a lot of code that he himself didn't have to write. But Mr. Subramaniam of TCS was of the opinion that AI could actually spawn more and more new job profiles. His own example is that of the prompt engineer. An answer by a generative tool can differ a lot by the quality of questions you ask, he explains. Thus, a prompt engineer will have a technical background along with contextual knowledge of the business, client, and a degree of design thinking to elicit the best answer in the shortest possible time. OpenAI recently released GPT-4, which is the latest version. The earlier one was 3.5. GPT-4 is spawning a lot of accessorial tools such as AutoGPT. Unlike with 3.5, 
auto gpt can run on its own autonomously which means it can move ahead with its own suggestions and ideas through self prompts or what it calls added tasks for example we found this on twitter and a user says auto gpt was trying to create an app for me it recognized that this particular user didn't have a tool called node so auto gpt googled as to how to install node found a stack overflow article with a link downloaded it extracted it and then spawned the server for the user and the user says my contribution i just watched so if there is a logical conclusion to your initial question and if there are intermediate steps required before you get to that conclusion auto gpt can help you get there without your having to prompt it through all those intermediate steps before we wind down this episode we will leave you with a little bit of an idea as to how the world of business has been tracking the evolution of new technologies for a few years now analyst and research firm gartner has used its hype cycle chart to help users gauge the level to which a new technology has evolved at a particular point in time this cycle goes through five stages and each stage could be different in terms of duration for different technologies first comes the innovation trigger a potential technology breakthrough kicks things off early proof of concept stories and media interest trigger significant publicity gartner says often no usable products exist and commercial viability is unproven second comes the peak of inflated expectations early publicity produces a number of success stories often accompanied by scores of failures as well then comes the trough of disillusionment says gartner interest wanes as experiments and implementations fail to deliver producers of the technology shake out or fail investments continue only if the surviving providers improve their products then comes what gartner calls the slope of enlightenment more instances of how the technology can benefit the enterprise start to crystallize and become more widely understood then comes a plateau of productivity mainstream adoption starts to take off criteria for assessing provider viability are more clearly defined the technology's broad market applicability and relevance are clearly paying off at this stage where do you think we are at with regard to artificial intelligence tools such as chat gpt are we at the innovation trigger are we at the peak of inflated expectations or have we jumped to the fourth stage which is a slope of enlightenment not having to go through a trough of dissolution give us your comments in the sections below and till we meet again next week have a lovely time ahead